Hey, it's Nicole with Honest Try TV, and today we just received our third installment, I guess, of the Green Chef um, meal kits. So this is, again, our third try with this company. So far, I would say uh, we've consistently been rating them somewhere between like a six and a seven for the meals that we've received so far. So this will be our third and final um try with this company um, and then after that I think we're going to explore and try other meal kit companies to see how they rate and stack up. So I'm just going to go ahead and open these so that we can see what recipes we have for this week. Okay and here we go. In these boxes we have the Mediterranean pork power bowls. We have the Italian Caprese Burgers with Kale Caesar Salad. And we have Mustard Herb Bavette Steaks with Broccoli and Potato Gratin. And lastly, we have the Chicken with Harissa Apricot Sauce, Toasted Pearl Couscous with Dried Apricots, and sauteed broccoli. So these are our four recipes for this week. Um, it's Wednesday and we're leaving Sunday to go on a trip with my parents. So we'll try to get these um, completed and taste tested before we leave. So more to come, stick with us as we explore these, these recipes with our last boxes uh, from Green Chef. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Honest Try content where we, we do our level best um, at adulting. And that includes cooking, gardening, you know, everything that life may entail after you cross that threshold into quote unquote independence, which, you know, whatever that means. So feel free to join us on our little mini adventures as newlyweds trying to establish a home life. All right, see you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, it's Nicole from Honest Try TV. And today we're going to be doing the Italian Caprese Burgers from Green Chef. We have a serving for four. That's why you see two uh, recipes here. Um, and let's go ahead and get our ingredients together. So I'm gonna grab everything from out of the refrigerator. Okay, and here we are. So these are our two bags for the Italian Caprese burgers. Um, as I discussed, oh, I, I don't know if I've discussed this. So we got a box for four, um, four servings. And because they package things for two servings, what they do is they just send you double everything when you order for four, um, which can be a bit confusing because as you read through your recipe card, you have to remember that everything is written for two servings. And so you have to recall as you're working that everything is supposed to be doubled in terms of measurement and time and things of that nature. Um, so that can be a little off-putting sometimes. Um, not a fan having to make those conversions, especially when it comes to cooking time, because I'm not entirely certain that doubling the cooking time is actually the most, um, is the correct way to, to, to finish the recipe, but whatever. We're working with it. So we're just going to dump out all of our ingredients here. We're gonna save one of these bags as our, as our trash bag over here on the side. Toss the other one into the bin there. And let's get, let's get started. And my mom's here helping, so if you see another pair of hands, then they're hers. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. All right, so first we're gonna grab a cutting board and we're gonna cut our Roma tomatoes into slices. So those are these bad boys. We're going to drizzle them with olive oil, salt, and pepper. So those are these. Um, that's going in the salad. No, those, those are going on the burger, actually. Then we're going to remove and discard the center stem of the kale, and we're going to roughly chop 
the leaves. So let me move this so that they can see me working over there on the corner. Okay, just gonna move the salt and pepper out the way. And can you move a little to the left, Mom? So folks, there you go. Perfect, perfect. So they can see you. And can you throw me a a knife as well? The the block is over there. So I can roughly chop these. Um, perfect. Thank you. These kale kale leaves for our salad. And you're working on the tomatoes. And where's my trash can? Here we go. Okay. These already look clean. form patties so this is our this is our patty bowl right here right so I'm gonna season and form them and add the Italian dressing um, salt pepper and then we're gonna cook them and then we're done wait that's it there's nothing else going on the burger other than tomatoes and cheese? That's it. Oh. Oh. Oh, you got some bacon left over? Bacon? Oh, yes, I got bacon. Let's fix this. You got some lettuce? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's real basic. Okay. So, now we have our kale chopped and ready and it says to drizzle in olive oil and then um caesar dressing we're going to do the caesar in a second first i'm going to massage the kale because um kale can be quite tough to eat and massaging makes it a lot more palatable. All right, so that's, that's feeling a lot more palatable. Let me rinse my hands really quick before I open these other packages. Okay, so we've massaged in our olive oil. Now they want us to add the Caesar dressing and salt. All right, so here's our Caesar dressing. All right, so our bacon is frying. And our kale salad is going to be marinating in the Caesar dressing. Um, and then we're going to add parm cheese. All the parm cheese? So there's no cheese for the burger? All the Parmesan is for the, oh wait, this the is mozzarella. The mozzarella is for the burgers. Ah, 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 okay, that's about to pay. Here's the Parmesan. Parmesan, okay, okay, okay. So this is mozzarella, okay, 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 okay. Parmesan, there we go. That was about, ooh, I was about to start. Really? So it was, it was literally just gonna be tomatoes and meat? <laughs> I was about to start talking trash.
And what was the other thing? Nuts? Hmm? Almonds. 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 Go ahead and add these bad boys. And then we can toss and put this aside because we'll be done. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our finished kale Caesar salad. All right, so I'm just going to set this aside and we're going to focus on the burgers. All right, so here we go. I'll put my cutting board over here. I'm not gonna need that anymore. So let's see if we can get this, get this burger meat seasoned and prepped and ready so that when my mom is done with the bacon, we are good to go with our patties. Let's do barbecue sauce instead of, cause I just don't know. I don't know. I feel like I would feel a lot, a lot better putting this on. And barbecue Pasta. sauce. Oops. Sweet baby rice. Yes, sir. Hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce is what we gonna use. So there we have mom finishing off the bacon. And there we have the grease that we're going to fry our burgers in. All right. I think we're going to do this First one should be good to go. They're looking more like meatballs than patties, but oh well. You didn't match them up down flat enough. And I thought I did. No, you didn't. They draw up, you know. Well, at least you're up for real, for real. Okay, this will be great. So it tastes good. That's all that matters. Are they cooked through? Are they cooked through? That's a great question. Let's test these out. It should be. Should be. Should be good. I'll take a thick one. 
Oh wow, it's juicy. It is not cooked with. It's not. It's not cooked through. It's not easy to cook. I swear they were flatter than this when I put them in. Yeah, but they grow up. See if I mash it. Yeah, you can do that. Good, good, good. Oh yeah, the big the bigger one is not. Not cooked yet. Uh, I don't know where the heat setting. But we're definitely gonna Or maybe I should have done two at a time in this pan. Who knows? Whatever. We'll get it straight. Okay, and we're back and we're ready to plate. My mom is toasting her buns right now. Our burgers are done. I'm not going to toast my buns because I don't care. I just want to eat. So this is how this is supposed to go. We're supposed to do burger on every plate. Okay. I'll leave this one for my mom. We have another set of buns over here. This will be for Jason when he comes in. I'll toast daddy. And then, okay, so then I'll leave those over there and you can toast daddy's. Well, no, 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 because Jason, Jason will, looks like he's going to be a second. He's going to be more than a second. He ain't another side. Yet. Oh, okay, so he'll be a second. All right, so that, this will be daddy's. I'll leave that there and you can toast him later. All right, so for mine, I'll go ahead and do mine because I'm ready. So this is the bottom of my bun. All right. So I'm gonna layer barbecue sauce instead of the um, basil pesto with Parmesan. I'm just gonna do a nice little thing. All right. And then uh, beef patties. Come here, little friend. Beef patties. I'm gonna skip on the farm because I don't need cheese. And then we're gonna do tomatoes. Oh wow, our tomatoes sliced up small. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes. And mm -hmm. then onions. So, love me some onions. So, hook that up there. Little fortress, so some stuff going on with the onions here, and then oh my god! What was that all about? I'm gonna tear my bacon in half. Just layer that on there. I need a lot of bacon. Oh, so I can take two pieces more bacon. More bacon the better. Yes, more bacon the better. All right, none of this is in the in the recipe. None of this is in the recipe. I'm gonna do more barbecue sauce on the top of my bun. Oh, Mama, did you want to use lettuce? Yes. We have lettuce. Yes. I'll just set that here. So we have some lettuce. Well. Boom, that there, and then on the top of the 
photo of ourselves. I'm gonna see you stretch your mouth to get I, all I that can out. mash it down. I can. You can't mash I it can that far. I can do it. All right, so this is our burger. I'm gonna grab a napkin and bring you closer. Um, our bacon burger. It'll be a bacon cheeseburger for my family with tomatoes, onions, lettuce, and barbecue sauce to be accompanied by with to be accompanied with our kale Caesar salad. So my mom just finished toasting her buns. And so she's gonna make her a little arrangement. Here's the I'll just on I think I'm gonna have And we'll just leave this here for Jason. Um, we'll put his together later when he's ready to come in so it won't get soggy. So we're going to go ahead and eat and taste test this, and we'll be right back to let you know how it was. Hey, guys. So I'm back, um, and we just finished our meal. Everyone loved our improvised burgers. So I won't rate the Italian Caprese burgers because we didn't make Italian Caprese burgers. We made barbecue bacon cheeseburgers. Um I will say, though, that the tomatoes that they sent, um, those Roma tomatoes were very small. So they didn't look anything like what you see here on the photo. They were about like that big. Like they were like the size of a coin. So they were pretty small um, for, the, for the size of the burger. Um, other than that, like I said, I don't really have anything to say much about burger. It was great, but it wasn't the burger that actually came with the recipe. So, meh. The salad, though, really, 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 really good. Um, we killed the salad. Yeah, we really enjoyed that. So that's the first kale salad that I, like, truly enjoyed. Um, so for the salad, I would give that salad, like, a 10 out of 10 because we, we killed that. We really enjoyed that. Um Again, I can't really fairly rate the Caprese burger because we didn't make it, so I'll just pass on that. Um, one thing I would like to share, though, let me grab the recipes that we've already made so I can give you my thoughts on those. Okay, so these are the two recipes that I made yesterday. Um, my mother-in-law, my grandmother-in-law came by the house, so we had a house of six people. And so um, I made dinner and I made these two recipes. Again, I have um, enough for four servings of each recipe, which I was worried would not be enough food for the six of us, so I just made both of them. Let's say both involved broccoli, and I thought they would be pretty complimentary. Um, so for the chicken with harissa apricot sauce, this one turned out very nicely um, and was well-received by everyone. I would rate that like an 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. Um, however, this mustard herb bavette steaks, um, we didn't like it. Um, the casserole, the broccoli cheese potato casserole, we liked. That came out well, was very well received. But the steaks were very tough. And I, um, I seared them, and we only cooked them to about medium. Um, and they were still like incredibly tough uh, most of the steak went uneaten for that reason because it was just it was too difficult so I was really disappointed um, with that I don't think I would ever order steaks from um, Green Chef again if we continued using the service because of how bad those steaks were just really disappointing the sauce that came on the steak, awesome. Again, the casserole inside, awesome. The steaks themselves, really low quality. Not impressed with that meat at all. So over, overall, I would give this like a six, um, maybe even a five. Because, you know, half the meal just wasn't edible. You know, if we just eaten this by itself, yeah, a five. Um... It would have been a pretty disappointing meal. Luckily, we paired these two together, and so, you know, we still had the chicken to save the day as, as our protein. So, yeah, sorry that I don't have footage to show you um, my mother and I preparing these two meals. Um, my uh, camera stabilizer died, 
And also it was, it would have just been too much. Like I had a house full of family and was, you know, rushing, trying to feed them. And so it just wouldn't have really been conducive for me to try to talk over all the noise and conversation and TV and everything um, while trying to very quickly prepare these meals for them. Um, plus you would have had to deal with shaky camera the whole time because um, my stabilizer was gone. So um, in our third and final box from Green Chef, we got these two recipes, the steak, the chicken, those are done. Today we did the Italian Caprese burgers, those are done. And uh, we have one more recipe left. So Jason and I are leaving here Sunday to go on a trip. I'm hoping, my stack of recipes, I'm hoping that we can um, finish finish um, and, and get through our last and final recipe, which is for the Mediterranean pork power bowls. So hopefully I can make these tomorrow for, um, for lunch for us. Um, my parents are leaving in the morning, so I hope that I'm able to get up and make these early enough so that they can help us eat, uh, eat them because we do have four servings of, of, um, of these pork bowls to get through. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we have this one last recipe, and then, um, like I said, this is our third and final box from Green Chef, and then I'll give you an overall reading of my Green Chef experience and let you know what I think about everything um, so far based on what we've received and experienced over the last month or so. Okay, guys, this is Nicole with Honest Try TV. Thank you for joining once again. See you later. Bye.